Welcome back to another action figure review. In this review, we're going to be taking a look at the new Joy Toy Wildcat ATV. Um, this has been wanted for a long time since people started seeing product shots of these things and other uh, Mecha Depot displays, and they're finally out. As you can see here, it comes wrapped in a plastic wrap, so we'll go ahead and remove that and we'll take a look at the packaging. Okay, well, let's take a look at the packaging. Um, we still have the yellow and black uh, overall presentation for their packaging style. On the front here on the top right, we have the Joy Toy logo, the Wildcat. Just below that, the ATV there under the Wildcat. Then we have the scale on the bottom right, 118th, which is our favorite scale. <clears throat> but we have a nice picture of the actual ATV. Um, this is supposed to be the tan version. There's a gray version coming out. It looks gray on the packaging. I'm not sure what's going on, if they're just using the same artwork, but I guess we'll find out when we open it. I know the box is a little beat up. It just came from China. So, if you're a mitten box collector, I don't recommend them buying from anywhere. I don't care for stock or toys, and now they have their new plastic wrap black corner. And it, it's stuff's going to get bad. If you want a mitten in the box, you're going to have to get it from the United States retailer that you uh, that offers the uh, overall... Uh, Joy Toy line. <clears throat> so on the top of the packaging, we have the scale 118 Joy Toy Wildcat and ATV done in the yellow with the black background. The bottom is the same. On the side we have the Joy Toy logo and Joy Toy on the side. Here on the back it shows us a nice prototype shot of the actual ATV. I do love the name for this, Wildcat. That's an awesome name for a uh, quad. It kind of shows you, this looks to be a little modular. Um, it's like you can remove um, parts if you wanted to have different looks. If you buy multiples of these, which these look fantastic. Um, the $49.99. Um, I see between $45 from China, but you got to pay shipping. $45 to $49.99 here in the United States. It's only like a five buck difference, so it's kind of kind of expensive for army building, but it's kind of the price you expect when you're dealing with a Joy Toy line. Things are just continuing to uh, get more expensive due to current inflation and other things. Pandemic. On the uh, on the left of the packaging, we have the Scale One Eighteenth Wildcat ATV Joy Toy. We have product information here. You can kind of pause and read that if you would like. We have company information. Here are some recommendations for from Joy Toy. Some precautions. We have the warning at the bottom, not for children under age of three. This is a product is not a toy. These are intended for adult collectibles. Recommended for 17 and up. So there you go. Here's a UPC if that helps you, but I'm pretty sure it's not gonna help you here in the United States. So let's see. This is the first time I've not seen this. As you've seen, I took the plastic off. We're gonna see this together. Um my box isn't that bad, but it's not what I would appreciate to have. There's the ATV. So we have a clamshell. Nothing else in the box. So we'll just toss that aside for now. This is what it looks like. With some of the accessories and then the ATV there. Um, I guess I could say. Just the bottom. Cannot find the other half of this thing. Oh. Okay. It's basically a tray that's been pushed on his eye. And it's like we lost half of our stuff. So I'm assuming that went there. And that went there. That's what that looks like. Okay, so here he is. My first impressions. Um, it looks pretty cool. I mean, the overall appearance looks very nice it has a nice modern uh, appearance modern military appearance it looks pretty uh pretty well done so let's go ahead and take a look at it so here's the side of it so we've plastic tires for the price point for this i would expect it you know some type of rubber tires but these are plastic we have the weathering on the tires it's really cool we have the same tan rims black brown mud tires we have weathering throughout on the lower um, chassis of the squad we have these red bars here 
the rear of the quad we have you know I kind of like how they have these holes because if you have a little uh, stretchy bands connectors you can pretty much strap anything to the back of this quad and I got a couple straps and you have multiple holes to utilize we have a like a tan dirty brownish um, bumper with some nice plastic clear headlights there's red inside looks really nice So on this side, it's pretty much the same as the other side. Um, we do have the punishment there here on the front. It's really cool. On the front here, we have more leathers, clear tra translucent clear lights. And if you can see down the side there, there's actually shocks. They're painted yellow with the silver rod in the center and then the black base of the that connects to the chassis. Some nice sculpt work there, it's very nice. And then on the bottom, it's like we have these, it's like I'd call them tow hooks. I'm not totally sure if they're just split there, center, if it's supposed to be there or not. Hmm. They both are the same, so I'm assuming so. Some more of that nice sculpt work, details. Here on the top, we have the rear rack, which has a lot of connection points. We have a black seat. We have the handlebars. It kind of moves around. It's probably because it's, uh, I think there's a removable, right? Then we have all kinds of bars on the front. You might be able to strap weapons too. Pretty nice. So for the quad piece, the overall, my opinion on the materials, it, I want to say it feels like a cheap plastic, but <laughs> here's how it sounds like when it rolls, but it's like very, it, feel, it doesn't feel like it's a durable plastic for heavy play. So caution you guys on very, any heavy play. General play is my recommendation for this. Display to general play. Um, this seems to be a little more durable than this. And these um, red bars here is definitely prone for breakage, is my prediction. Um, so be very careful. It's gonna probably snap them put much pressure, pressure on the actual uh, red bars. These actually pretty solid, not too bad. But overall, um, nothing like uh, your Halo quads that's more built for heavy play. So be careful. So let's take a look at the accessories. First, we have this mini gun. Pretty cool. Very small in front. Very small parallels uh, that small maybe <laughs> could be prone to burning out looks like we have the ammunition belt there we have some handles on the back some scalp work there maybe some sure what they're going for do we have a silver bar underneath it looks like it can move a little bit and then we have the bipod, um, well, single pod, I'm not sure. Post, oh, kind of have two connection points there. This is to connect your minigun to the quad. And then it comes with two ammo boxes, which these are fantastic. We have a med um, symbol on this um, front. But on the reverse side, we have that logo. The bottoms, looks like they just snap onto the uh, side there and there's little grooves. They look well, very well sculpted, look at that. That looks like actual ammunition boxes. Very cool. And what's really nice, they open. Look at that. That's 
awesome. I would love to see these offered in other sets so we can get a bunch of these for displays. Okay, let's see how well these things fit on the back of this thing. So there's no instructions in the box, so I'm guessing from what I can tell, these two posts go on this line that goes across here and here, and they sit like that. And obviously, obviously you can put them on uh, either side or one side. Or in the middle, whatever you would like for your uh, your overall configuration. But this is how they're shown on the box. And then we have your minigun, and this is the post. Well, look at that! I tell you what, that su surprised me. I thought that was going to be a nightmare to get that in there. That went in there perfectly. I, I feel that that's perfectly tolerant. Let's see what happens when we try to stick it where it belongs. Yeah, I'd be, I'd, I'd be, I wouldn't put your quad on the ground and push this post on. I'd pick your quad up so you don't put too much pressure on your axles. Um, it's very tight. So I'd be very careful if you're going to... I don't recommend taking that in and out a lot. I'm not going to push mine all the way down because I want to do some other things with the back for our video. But that's what that looks like. You have to push that down. Um, so, if that's what you want for your quad, I'd make it a uh, permanent thing if that was you. This, uh, of course, this does rotate all the way around 360. And then we can put on the actual uh, the more boxes slash med kits, whatever they're going for, whatever you wanted to make it be. It's up to you. All right, that's not bad at all. The back of it. All right, let's get a figure and see how well they uh, they scale. Okay, here we go with a 118 scale figure. Um, in my opinion. This particular quad, the tan version, is perfect for two dual toy teams. So the first team I think this will look fantastic with is the 09th Legion Mecha Cavalry. This is the uh, uh, Sergeant Major figure. Uh, there's actually three uh, single carded and one with a the Fear 4 Mecha, I believe. But the color pattern looks amazing and you can see how well they scale together. Okay, here he is on the quad, fits pretty nicely. Leans a little forward, as you can see, the hands can go in the handlebars. Look really nice. The only thing about the minigun, it's like, <laughs> it's kind of an odd place to put a minigun. I mean, I, I get it, so it makes more practical sense to have it like that, in my, in my opinion. But that's how he looks riding that quad. Looks really cool. Now, obviously, you're not going to be driving this thing. If you had somebody shooting from behind, you're not going to have that thing going off, you know, in your head, right behind your head. There's just no way. So, more practical would be, you know, shooting from a stationary position like this, or maybe standing behind the quad for cover. But that'd be the, really the only way to, uh, for that to make sense. Then you can have him from a stationary position behind the quad, but you can't have, really have anybody on their front driving or sitting. You're going to shoot him in the head uh, or destroy their hearing. But that's how that looks. So you can actually shoot from behind and from the rear facing position of the ATV. So the other Joy Toy team that I believe that these look fan the ATV will look fantastic with is the, uh, the Delta team. The first FSOD D three pack that they offered here, you know, not too long ago. The color pattern looks, you know, kind of matches really nice with it, and it has some pretty awesome accessories to go along. So let's take a look at something very, very cool. So if you guys remember several sets back, George would offer these weapons cases. Look how beautiful they fit on there. 
as an option for you. These look fantastic for these quads. This, this the way these are set up, it's like, makes me want to have a handful of these quads, but man, they're not priced for army building. Look at that. Perfect length. Fits on it real nice. I know, no straps. Stays on pretty good. So, but you know, you could get straps, stick it over the top, realistic look. It's really, really cool. Turn it around. Yeah, we got this open. Have your gear inside. And then look at this hat on. You know, putting these stuff like this together, man, that's just fantastic. Love the way that looks. You know, you can strap those on the top if you like. However, you want to do it. That looks really, really cool. Another reason these look so cool together is because we have these computers that came with this set. You can always tuck that down in the front, like so. Inside that bar system, that looks really, really good. And, which I found very interesting, the weapons that these figures come with are pretty awesome. So you have the, the tan and black. They're like, you can store your sniper rifle in here while you're driving your quad. And if you want your assault rifle to go with you, they fit really nice on that rack. That's a cool option. Now this ain't anywhere. There's no instructions for the squad. This is the stuff that I picked out that I'm doing. So you're only going to see this here on my channel. Um, there's no instructions. Um, these are my recommendations. Um, it makes this amazing piece to have um, for our doll collectors. And I cannot get that gun. <laughs> as much as the ankle that I'm sitting at. And you can put this on there like that. And I think that looks fantastic. Very cool. See so what you guys think. Comment down below what you guys think about this. If you guys are interested in buying multiple of these, one, two, I know the price is high. But uh, they're coming out with a gray version. See what that looks like in the future. But that looks really, really cool. So the only real other offerings that I uh, found in a quad base for 118 scale would be the Halo Infinite series. And here would be a comparison for size for those. Now these are $19.99 and you do get a figure with them. You either get the Mongoose or the Gun Goose, but that's how they scale. Obviously these are more priced for army building versus those, but you know, you have your pros and cons to both. This is fantastic. I highly recommend the Halo. And this is a really cool piece for adult collectors. You can buy these Halo ones for your kids, no doubt. But I wouldn't recommend the uh, Wildcats for your ch you know, for your kids. But, you know, it's your choice. That's how they scale. It's really good. And I'll show you what the actual uh, Mongoose looks like. So this is the mongoose. It looks pretty cool. And you can see here it fits nicely in the Mecha Depot port. Perfect fit. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review for the Wildcat. If you did, please consider subscribing. Please hit that thumbs up for me. Please like and share the video. And as always, we will see you in our next review.